what's up people this is vishal and i'm back again with another video this is specifically to answer your question what the heck happens in a front-end interview although the interview process in uh, every company is different but if you prepare by the process that i'm going to discuss in this video you shall be ready for any company so without wasting much time let's go so if you are going to appear for a front-end interview the first thing that you need to be good at is definitely javascript and its core concepts if you are appearing for a startup that time you it will be beneficial if you know the tech stack that the company is using and the interview might be focused on the tech stack that the company is using so let's say if the company is using react js then you can expect the interview questions to be based on react js as well but while appearing for a bigger company that time it is very unlikely that you will face questions specific to the framework it will be mostly on the core javascript problem solving and the conceptual parts of javascript so let's jump into the interview process now. So many companies do their initial screening by using phone screens. So phone screens, in phone screens, you can expect questions ranging from very basic questions from like what is HTTPS to the conceptual and core parts of JavaScript. You might also be asked a coding question orally and you'll be expected to uh, tell the answer or the output of that code. Some companies also follow written coding rounds. In the written coding rounds, uh, you can expect problem solving questions based on very basic algorithms on uh, arrays, strings, objects. You might also be asked questions on CSS designing and you will be writing the code on a piece of paper. The reason why they ask you to write it on a piece of paper is because there will be no uh, syntactical help, there will be no intelligence and it will test whether you know how to write CSS or JavaScript uh, without, uh, without any help or not. Okay, for uh, getting the idea of what questions can be asked in a uh, written coding round, you can refer to my code long series and uh, the link, you can find the link in the description as well as in the suggestion box. Another way of screening is the assignment based screening. It is usually done in the uh, startups and you will be given uh, an assignment and an acceptance criteria. So the acceptance criteria can range from very basic things like project structure to the complete functionality of the assignment and you they, you they might also check how you're writing the code and some companies also consider uh, writing test cases as an acceptance criteria for their company so once you're through the initial screening round you can expect an algorithmic coding round it can either be on a machine or a paper it totally depends on the interviewer you will be uh, you will face algorithmic questions over here which may or may not be specific to javascript concepts uh, the questions can range from arrays, linked list trees and so on. It totally depends on the interviewer and definitely your luck. And um, you can use any language to solve these problems. But since this is, a, this is specifically for front-end interview, try to solve these in JavaScript. Unlike back-end interviews, many languages can be used for the back-end. But for the front-end, JavaScript is definitely required. Hence, try to solve these uh, uh, problems using JavaScript. Whether you will be given a, a machine to solve this or not, it totally depends on the interviewer. I personally prefer doing it on machine because it gives me the syntactical help and I can, uh, of course, I'll have to write a perfect code if I'm using a machine, but uh, it will allow me to test the code that I'm writing. Also, uh, the code along series on my channel is definitely completely based on these type of questions and uh, the questions that are there in those series are uh, the questions that I've personally faced over the years. You can also uh, prepare for this round by solving questions on lead code and uh, any other website which uh, is similar to lead code and you will be ready for this round. Apart from algorithmic uh, coding round, you can also expect a coding round specific to JavaScript uh, coding and concepts. Uh, again, it can be done on machine or paper. It is totally dependent on the interviewer. The JavaScript coding round, it is very specific to the problem solving questions involving JavaScript and web, de web development concepts. So the concepts like closures, etc. So you can expect questions based on these specific JavaScript concepts and you'll be asked to write code on code on this uh, sometimes this round is also clubbed with the algorithmic round because uh, you, you can have one uh, a javascript conceptual question which will involve algorithms as well so you can there is a possibility that they might be clubbed it totally depends on the hiring manager if they expect the candidate to be tested on bo both of these separately you will face these two rounds separately there might also be questions related to CSS, theoretical JS and other web fundamentals. So it can be uh, theoretical. You might be asked to draw block diagrams, etc. to explain these concepts. 
यू कैन अगेन यू कैन वॉच माई कोड लॉन्ग सीरीज कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्सेप्ट प्ले लिस्ट एंड कॉन्सेपचुअल जेस वेबिनार प्ले लिस्ट टू गेट एन आइडिया ऑफ यू वॉट यू माइट कम अक्रॉस इन दिस राउंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फेस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू वेबसाइट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन परफॉर्मेंस एट्सेट्रा द क्वेश्चन कैन बी समथिंग लाइक हाउ हाउ वुड यू हैंडल लार्ज फाइल अपलोड्स ऑन योर वेबसाइट हाउ वुड यू रेंडर द लार्ज फाइल्स और लार्ज इमेजेस ऑन द वेबसाइट हाउ वुड यू स्ट्रीम अ वेरी ह्यूज वीडियो ऑन योर वेबसाइट how would you make sure that your website loads quickly and those kind of real time problems and you can face questions around those as well another thing that you can expect in your front end interview is system design so system design is a very interesting and fun round you can let your imaginations fly over here and this round is specifically done to test your skills in architecting an application the interviewer might present you a scenario and you would be expected to tell how would you develop that feature and the, you would be ex- also expected to tell what kind of apis you would need to solve uh, to solve this problem and uh, what are the questions that you would ask the backend team does this problem require any special design pattern and what would be the data model of the apis and so on okay all this comes by experience and by experience i don't mean the number of uh, years i mean the experience in developing applications so just start working on projects the more projects that you do the better you get with the system designing now uh, this is since this is a front end uh, role so you you can keep your design front end oriented you can talk about the tech stack or front end related design patterns but uh, that doesn't mean that you completely ignore the uh, back end part If, as a front end engineer you should also know about the back end what what components you might use at the back end and um, you it may not be specific but at least talk about the black box components that would be involved in the back end apart from all of this you might also come across questions related to your personality there is no specific round for these kind of questions but they will be spread across your entire interview uh, in different different rounds and the main idea of these kind of questions is to judge the personality of the person so there is not much to explain over here but uh, let's see how mr ashok kumar describes his past experience so in the last project my team was struggling with the choice of framework so i chipped in i said i suggested the use of framework and did not consult with any of the teammates because it would be a waste of time so i just uh, chose the framework of my choice and started working on the project and till date only i am the one who knows everything about the project and uh, everything goes through me So if you were Ashok how would you explain your past experience let me know in the comments below and that's all for this one guys i hope this uh, made it clear about what you can expect in a front end interview like this video and share this video with everyone who is aspiring to become a front end engineer it will be very helpful for them and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos in the future and hit the notification bell to get notified about my videos whenever i upload them so see you in the next one bye